Hello, I'm Zupan Lizaki, photojournalist recently covered the Nepal earthquake disaster. For those Malaysians who are really concerned on what's happening on the outside world, please check out my blog at www.zufadlizaki.wordpress.com to get further info on Nepalese Resilient Fundraising Photography Exhibition. For those who are interested to join the course, small prints are available and 100% profit goes to Next Generation Nepal. You are listening to AFORadio.com. You right here on AFORadio.com. You're with Mag on AFO Live in the studio with me this afternoon. I have Zul Fadli Zak. Zak or Zak? Zaki. Zaki. <laughs> Kenapa I dapat halfway ni? I got Zak only. Uh, you got Zak only. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe the keyboard can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Zul Fadli Zaki. Yeah. yeah you're All a right. photojournalist who volunteered to cover the recent Nepalese uh, earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very sad disaster. It was a disaster. Yeah. Yeah, the conditions were terrible. Mm -hmm. Yet you volunteered to go all the way there. Why? Mm, I've been to Nepal because I've been assigned by the Sun mm -hmm. to doing coverage on the earthquake disaster. Okay. On the April 2015. Correct. And start to meet up uh, Baldwin. Mm -hmm. On my way to Kathmandu, okay, and we've been stranded in Nepal on about three days, and we start to figure out um, what we gonna do for them okay. and trying to help them okay. as well. What was your first impression when you actually got there? It's really tough situation there, okay, because. Um, there is no clean water supply, mm -hmm. no e electricity, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's kind of rough situation there. Okay, coming from Malaysia, yeah. we've never seen something like this, yeah. with the exception of the uh, Sabah earthquake recently, mm -hmm. right? But prior to that, we've never seen anything like this. Yeah. And for you, who have never been exposed to an earthquake like that, and going to Nepal, mm -hmm. right? Um, what did you feel? What was your, you know, what hit your heart at that moment? I've never been to Nepal. It's kind of hard to 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 adapt with the environment there because okay. it's part of the weather. But when the earthquake happened, I was like impressed with the people okay. because they were acting like they were there was nothing happened. The impact of the earthquake is really, really, really bad. Terrible, right? And bila I talking to them, diorang uh, macam diorang never complain about anything happen. They are all have hope. They to, have hope to, to 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 rebuild their life, to to make their life better. And yeah, I think I love and hope really make me amazed and that's why we, we we try to figure out how we can help them with with the photography 